Hi there, and welcome to episode 11 of Shmi's Top Supercars, the penultimate episode. I am Shmi, and today I'm going to be showing you the Bagani Zonda. Pagani debuted the Zonda back at the 1999 Geneva Motor Show. The first car they released was a C12. That was followed by an S, both in coupe format. Then they had the S Roadster, which you see here. Numerous other models and derivatives of the Zonda have existed, but back in the early days it was just those cars. A lot of them have since been upgraded to newer specs, but one I saw recently that uh, was incredibly exciting was Mr. Horatio, Horatio Pagani himself driving his Zonda through the streets of Monaco. I have to apologise for the slightly dodgy filming there, a little bit wobbly, but for a supercar spotter I'm sure you can appreciate seeing Mr Bagani himself is quite a big deal. The next model was the F, I have a bright orange one to show you here. This car was taking part in a little run to the Chelsea Auto Legends event this year. A couple of Zondas have hit the auction hammer recently. Two S Roadsters, as it happens. The first in Elvis Presley pink. It's a sort of salmon light pink. All finished. Any more? All done. There it is. Thank you. Your number. 607. You'll probably be relieved to know that following this auction, the car is now red rather than pink. Are you bidding on the telephone? 290,000, yes or no on the phones? That's a no and a no and a no. 290, fair warning now, ladies and gentlemen. 290, last chance. All done. Show the car. 388, thank you. 290. What's interesting about that auction, though, is that a Zonda can sell now a car like that for £290,000 auction hammer. That realistically, after fees, getting the car put up to scratch, a new colour, looking at sort of 400 plus thousand pounds of car. The Zondas weren't that much when they were new, but for a long time they didn't trade on for a lot of money. So it's a good thing for Pagani that the prices are coming up and coming up as demand increases. And obviously the newer cars are significantly more expensive. But onto another car up for auction, even though it is red, it is not the same car. And fortunately, I was able to see this one firing up and moving around after the auction. Zonda owners do tend to like the cars in rather leery colours. Obviously, they are extreme by nature. You just look at a Zonda, the shape of the headlights, the shape of the rear end of the car. They are going to be dramatic. But in bright yellow, as I saw in Dubai, Following the Zonda F, Pagani started doing a lot of unique customised cars, so one-offs for their new owners. Obviously the Pagani program runs a very high price, and as a result of this there aren't that many of them. I've filmed a couple, the first of which actually is a little bit different because it was based on a previous model car with some upgrades to bring it to the new owner's desires. This meant it is a very personalised car, but it's yet to be given its official name, which will be the Zonda AB. In the meantime, take a look at some clips of it.
that car, the Zonda AB, was originally a C12S. It's also got a very nice number plate on it. It's had a Zonda F front bumper attached. Obviously the paint job has been made to look like the newer Zonda Cinque that we'll look at very shortly. This event that you saw it at is the Dad Stay Out event. It headed out onto the track for some charity rides. Just wait. Same for me. Oh yes, we need to back this quick. Another much more modern customised Zonda is the Zonda PS, named after Peter Saywell. A lot of them have their initials of the owner's names at the end of the Zonda's name. So the Zonda PS has a couple of unique touches, take a look. Zondas all have 7 litre, 7.3 litre, that sort of size AMG Mercedes engines. It's a V12, makes a lot of power, they sound absolutely brilliant. This is Peter Saywell's, the, the back of Peter Saywell's, and as you can see one of the unique touches is he has the four exhausts in a row, rather than in the square configuration that Zondas usually have, but they make a wonderful noise. <laughs> Another Zonda I filmed fairly recently was a Zonda F Club Sport. The F obviously is the, the latest main multi-produced version of the Zonda. The Club Sport is where they make it completely carbon fibre. That brings a price tag of £1.2 million. There's one for sale in the UK with my friends at Bob Forstner at the moment. It's an absolutely amazing car. Look at it, listen to it, it's glorious. Get dressed. Well I'm not going to stay long. Uh, no, no. no. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The Zonda's absolutely howl, and even the interior is absolutely gorgeous. Later on in the life of the Zonda, Pagani made a couple of special editions. So we've got the Tricolore, of which there are three, and the Cinque, of which there are five coupes and five roadsters. That's what you see at the back of the next clip. Do you know and as I'm sure you've been waiting for, it is a Zonda Cinque that has gathered by far the most attention of any car in the spotting world over the last year or two. A one turned up from Mr. Altani from Qatar in London in summer 2010. How was that for a screaming exhaust? The same car also became quite well known for liking to get his back out a little bit on one particular junction. I'm afraid all I've got of it is this. But he did have a tendency to do that quite often, so there are other videos of it on YouTube. Just listen to the noise though it makes as the Zonda drives away, and especially the nice surprise to the side. Welcome to London, the land of Veyrons parked on the side of the road. The last final version of the Zonda was the R, the race track version of the car, built to go around the Nürburgring as fast as possible. It achieved a time of 6 minutes and 47 seconds, a record beating time and the fastest achieved to that date. Sporting open and coach around this car, featured in uh, 50 years of, uh, of the mark. 
I'm afraid to say that I do not have any footage of Zondurars moving, as they are obviously track legal only, not for road use, so I've never seen one moving around. However, Pagani have now retired the Zonda format, although rumours are that they will build one-offs for new owners that want them. The new model, the y -Rep, a lot of debate obviously as to how to pronounce it, but I believe that's how Horatio says it. The car is absolutely stunning in my opinion. A lot of people aren't quite so sure whether the Huayra is for them, but when you've seen one up close and personal, especially this red car, your mind will almost certainly change. They are absolutely incredible, beautiful, amazing technology, absolutely wonderful, and I cannot wait to see one on the road. I always dream of the day that I may be able to take a ride in a Zonda or a Huayra. Hopefully if that ever happens it will be straight up on the Shmi150 YouTube channel, so make sure you stay subscribed. But once again, thanks for viewing, thanks for your comments down below. Obviously that's it for the penultimate episode, there is only one more to come now and you almost certainly know what car that's going to be. Thanks again for watching, leave your comments down below and I'll see you again tomorrow for the last episode. Cheers, bye.